two one. We got Seabass here with Step by Step Dance. We got Nick Gonzalez. How you doing? Man, feeling great, man. Feeling real blessed right now. Now, um, <clears throat> just give a little background on your history, where you're from, kind of what started you with uh, hip hop dance, and uh, just kind of go from there. Yeah, um, I'm originally from New Haven, Connecticut. It's where I'm born and raised, and then I uh, moved to Chicago when I was about 14. Um, prior to that, when I was 12, um, actually, I'm sorry, nine, I started tap dancing. Uh, I started learning under Gregory Hines and Savion Glover, um, you know, Buster Brown, so Jimmy Slide, a lot of these cats that were like originators in tap, uh, they were essentially the gurus of tap. Um, and it wasn't necessarily like just a regular kind of movement, it was a culture. Um, so what I took from that, I brought it with me to Chicago. So when I started studying like hip hop, jazz, ballet, contemporary, and all that good stuff, um, it kind of gave me ammunition. And the reason why I call it ammunition is because you're consistently battling. Not with the world in the sense of like negativity, but you're always battling with the fears that you have within yourself. You're always second guessing yourself. You know, you are your hardest critic, you know what I mean? A lot of times people um, get too worked up when it comes to like actually dancing. Mm -hmm. Dance is just a release. It's a it's a form of art where like I'm drawing on paper with my body, you know. So um, I wanted to get as much as I can um, when I was a shorty, and still like to this day, I'm 29 and I still take class. I'm still learning every day, you know, even from being on tour with I and actually creating a movement for kids. It's not necessarily just a uh, a show for them to come to. Mm -hmm. We created an energy that's always gonna live within them now. You know, they're gonna carry this on and remember it for the rest of their lives. Right. And that's pretty what, pretty much what's, that's what's the most important thing, I think, to me, is that it's gonna carry on a legacy so that when I'm gone, it will still be living, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, that's that. So you, uh, you talked about um, going from Connecticut to Chicago. Was that uh, for college or was that just something you wanted to, like, did you move there, or what was that all about? When I was a shorty in Connecticut, I lived with my mom's. Okay. And, um, my mom and dad were separated since I was a shorty. Okay. And um, so then, when I wanted to move to Chicago, I wanted to live with my dad for a little bit and kind of check it out and see how if I would like it or not. Okay. Um, in the beginning, I did it. I didn't like it. I'm a New York cat. I love Brooklyn. I love the Bronx. I love New Haven, Connecticut. I'm from the street. And um, when I moved with my dad, um, Chicago was a different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's still very street and urban, but like my dad kept me closed in. Like I never got a chance to really go outside. Versus like when I was in Connecticut, we were in streets every day, mm -hmm. you know? And um, so I moved when I was a shorty, and then I had the privilege of working with somebody called Homer Bryant. Um, he's one of my gurus. He's one of the people that made me the person I am, the teacher, the man that I am. You know, he helped give me the tools that I needed. He believed in me. Um, from there on, like I had the opportunity to like teach Obama's kids. I worked on the Oprah Winfrey show, taught Michael Jordan's kids. Um, I pretty much opened for every rap person from the era of 2002 to like 2005. Okay. Like everyone you can think of, I pretty much had my crew at the time open for that rapper. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, in Chi-Town? Yeah, in okay. Chicago. And it was one of the most amazing things because I mean, I helped develop people that are amazing choreographers now and that are really big names. Like someone like uh, Ian Eastwood, I worked with him when he was a little boy. Um, and um, I saw him grow up and it's such an amazing thing right now. I have a lot of respect for him and his parents, what they did for him. And um, I hope that he carries on a legacy. And um, you know, what's really cool is that every time I see him, he gives me a handshake and he says, what's up? You know what I mean? It shows that he still has respect and um, that's really important. Um, I feel like respect is always earned and it's not given, you know, especially in life. Forget about the choreography again. Forget about the dancer life. Mm -hmm. There is no dancer life. It's just life. It's respect, you know. Give it to others and it goes a long way. It goes farther than any money amount, any kind of contract that you can sign. Um, I feel like it's something that definitely is important to people, you know. Turn, 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 turn,